giant comes into my house, my city, and tells me, we took over, we're going to take away your programming. Well, you know, I got a problem with that. And I'm going to spill the beans on something because I'm Elcher Castle and I do that. By me talking badly about Comcast, it may be taken out on my channel that I'm on and my fellow producers, and I'm sure board members, possibly, and others, may not be thrilled that I'm giving Comcast the business. But I always talk about self-sacrifice, putting one's community before oneself. And this is the case. I would rather tell the truth and fight to save WBGN and put myself at risk than to be disingenuine like many other talk show hosts of the left and right. You see, if it's wrong, I'm going to tell you. Whether it is bad for me to say or not, it doesn't matter. If it's wrong, I'm going to tell you. And Comcast and Linda Hossinger, you getting rid of WBGN for any reason is an abomination. It is disgusting. It's worse than disgusting. There are words I can tell you that I will not because I am a professional. But what you did is unprofessional. And whatever the reason is, is it a business decision? Is it to save money? Is it to create another station? You don't take away Pittsburgh stations from Pittsburghers. And I might add, you kind of have false advertisement. You say that if you get cable, you, take, you have the local channels. Well, you don't have all the local channels. If you don't have WBGN, you are no longer providing all the local channels to Pittsburghers, and therefore, you should not be allowed to advertise that you provide the local channels because you may provide public access, Channel 1. I mean, Channel 21, my fault, Channel 21. You may have KDKA. You may have WPXI. You may have WQED, you may have W, I mean, you know, ABC, whatever, WTAE. You may have PCNC on the higher tier. But even if you have all the so-called networks and you may have UPN and CW or what have you, but if you don't have WBGN, you legally should not be allowed to claim that you provide locals to Pittsburghers because you don't. WBGN was owned by Pittsburgher. It is a Pittsburgh station located, I believe, in Green Tree. Now, I want WBGN restored, and I want every single viewer here and around the globe that watches this show on the Internet to get busy. Make that phone number, 412. Make that call, 412-747-6417, and you let them know. You don't take Pittsburgh stuff away from Pittsburghers. So at any rate... We're running a little long because, you know, I'm long-winded. But, hey, I fight for what's right. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get this next call. But we're going to have Nancy Way answer the call. So, Nancy Way, kick it up. Okay. Call her. What's, you, uh, what's your name? Where are you calling uh, from? May. Hey, all right. And grace. How sweet the sound. God bless you all, and I'm really interested. Thank you. I wasn't uh, able to come in today, but you girls look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, wait a minute now. Wait a minute, Flo Rice. Let us tell them who you are. Now, everybody, this uh, is... Well, I'm going to tell you who I am. Everybody know me. This is Flo well, Rice. Well, I'm going to tell them who you are. <laughs> this is Flo Rice, and... That's a Nancy local Wade hero. And the other girl, your hair is so pretty. Thank you. Oh, it's look so pretty. Look at how these girls look. Don't you think they need as much money as a man? They have to have their hair done. That's right. They got to buy earrings. Right. The older run and all kind of things to look beautiful. You got that right. They just can't walk around like that. No, but really they look not. beautiful today. So if we want to start something, whatever you want to do, Al, and you want to run a little program on uh, getting this done, I put the number down, and I'm right, right with you. So right. how you girls doing today? I'm doing very doing well. Well, I, yes. I'm going to have to interrupt well, you for a okay, minute. Don't well, go I'm, anywhere, Flo. You don't have to interrupt. I'm going off. No, don't go. Don't go anywhere. 
I want you to stay on the phone for a minute. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw down something, America. This young lady who is on the phone hasn't been able to come into the studio, but this young lady, as I've told you in the past, she has raised over 200 children, taking care of them, keeping them off drugs, keeping them out of trouble, has done a great job. Some of her children's names is Nina, or Nina, Ray's Flame, and Marvin, just to name a few. And her daughter, I can't remember the name, sorry about that, but Flo has done things that most people would never be able to comprehend. Now, Flo hasn't been able to be here, but I'm gonna tell you something else about Flo. Not only is she a producer and produces Flo's kids, but believe it or not, Flo Rice is a board member of PCTV Channel 21. So Flo knows how to take care of the business. But Flo, you got to learn how to be bad a little bit, all right? Okay. If you ain't bad, I'll get mad, and that will be real bad. That will be sad, too. <laughs> but, but I just want you to, um, before you go, I want you to make a, a comment with regards to what you would like to see happen in 2009. Personally, if you can, without getting yourself or me in trouble, just what would you want to see happen? And then after that, we'll go to the clip, first clip. Okay, what I would like to see is all the young people wake up and realize that we have been blessed with a black president that we can kind of go to and ask for help. And if God gives you this, you should straighten yourself up. It's no reason to jump up and kill yourself, kill your brothers and things. Now you got something you can do. You, you should feel good about it. You're right and I'm about glad that. I'm alive right now to see it. Because I could have been gone and never knew this day was going to happen. But, uh... I'm glad for everybody, and I'm going to sign off now saying, Al, call me as soon as possible. I will be calling you soon. You tell and Nina to be up bad. The good work. God bless you, kid. I'll talk to you soon. Keep up the good work. Oh, thanks. I'm trying. Hey, my comb over is still showing, though. <laughs> I want me some hair, but I ain't got it you're yet. You're looking good. You're looking good. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. We'll see you, everybody. Nice see you, Nina, Marvin, Ray, Splain. We're going to move forward. Thanks, everyone. Um, Kurt, Monica, we are going to get that next call, but we're going to wait until after the video. So can you please show clip one, or I should say part one, of my Steelers congratulatory thing. Hi, everyone. It's Albert Castle. I'm reporting live at 525 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on location at Homestead in front of my friend Chris's house. I want to tell you something, everybody. You know how I always talk about, you can do, you can do, you can do that? Well, let me tell you something. I gotta congratulate the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's right, I'm gonna congratulate the Pittsburgh Steelers. Super Bowl champions once again. And let me just say something, America. Let me just say something about the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Pittsburgh Steelers are the first ever team in history to have six, that's right, six Super Bowls, America. Six Super Bowls. But let me throw something down. Now they talked a lot about them being the first to have six Super Bowls, but they seem to forget that Pittsburgh Steelers were the first to ever have five Super Bowls. Now, just to let you know how good the Pittsburgh Steelers are, America, there are only two other teams that have five Super Bowls. That would be the Cowboys and the 49ers. But Pittsburgh, that's right, Pittsburgh was the one and only first to get five. And now they said, you know what? We're tied for five. Well, that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna happen anymore. So we got six first ever. So here we go, Steelers, here we go. I wanna congratulate Dan Rooney, Art Rooney II, the, the entire team. And of course, I wanna, Congratulate, of course, the coach who is on the team and is the team. <laughs> so every single person affiliated with the Pittsburgh Steelers, I want to congratulate. 